Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. Well, on today's show, we are going to be chatting with Patrick Willetsko. He is the Director of Emergency Management for Ottertail County. He's got some great tools for both businesses and residents to help you get prepared in case of emergency. So stay tuned. Digital Dilemmas presents This Old House. This week on Home Renos, we'll be showing how hardwood floors can transform your space by adding character and disrupting your Wi-Fi signal. If you have hardwood floors throughout your house, you might notice a decrease in signal strength when you're on a different floor, away from your router. Contact your service provider for a Wi-Fi extender that will help improve the coverage throughout your home. Stay tuned for more Digital Dilemmas. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm pleased to welcome back to the show Patrick Willetsko with Ottertail County Emergency Management Director. Patrick, glad to have you live here in person and on in the show. In person. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. You bet. Well, it's been a whirlwind for you, I'm sure, over the last couple years. No, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't yeah. want to count the months anymore. <laughs> <laughs> me, me either. No, it's been quite the, quite the ride. Uh, a lot of things to be done and uh, a lot of coordination to do from uh, that response standpoint. Definitely. Well, and we are lucky to have you here in Ottertail County to help uh, manage all the variety of emergencies that have been going on over the last, you know, worldwide truly, but you know, right. focusing on Ottertail County. But I think one of the key things and one of the key areas that you work on is is helping people be prepared for those things. Now we can't be prepared for everything, but through the county there's a variety of tools tools that are available and there, there that are, people can do. Yeah, there there certainly are a lot of a lot of them. And you know, preparedness is uh, fortunately one of the things we spend a lot of time on. Um, you know, we who would have known that we would be dealing with an emergency for this long? But right. uh, thankfully, most of them are short term, um, so we can spend a lot of time getting people prepared for when those things do happen. So, certainly, we hope that our efforts up until this point have helped people and, and put them in a good position. Um, and through the county, there, as you referenced, there are a lot of programs and services uh, that are available uh, for people to kind of take those steps uh, to help them get themselves prepared. Definitely. And one that you had brought up a while back at a Chamber Cafe was uh, specifically for buildings, uh, property owners, um, commercial property owners, in particular, uh, the RAVE Facility Program. Let's talk yes. a little bit about that. Yeah, so RAVE Facility is, is our program whereby uh, anyone with brick and mortar, I mean, you know, it's uh, intended for or kind of designed for big, large manufacturers, school districts, healthcare facilities, and so on. But anybody can do it. Uh, if you have a physical location uh, that you want information known to emergency responders for, this program is for you. Right. Allows you to create a, what we call as a safety profile or a facility profile on your location uh, to again contribute voluntarily any information that you want emergency responders, police, fire, EMS, public works uh, to know about if something should happen at your facility. A couple of uh, big highlights in terms of what you can include in that profile include things like floor plans and right. just general building layouts so that emergency responders can uh, see that information, know the general layout of your location. If you reference in your call to 911 a location in the building, responders know exactly where that is. Right. Um, a couple of other big pieces are utility shutoff locations. Uh, if you have access codes or physical keys, that are necessary to enter the facility, you can include information about those in your profile as well. Just a system that allows uh, responders to prepare themselves to respond to something that, uh, in, in kind of a worst case scenario for right. anyone who has a facility, uh, to prepare those responders to help them out in that time of need. Well, and I think of two, say for example, a fire and the fire fighters are trying to go through the, a building and you know, it's filled with smoke, it's the middle of the night, it's dark, you know, visibility is down, but boy, if they knew exactly where the fire extinguishers were in the building or different shutoffs, maybe it's some sort of a, a chemical shutoff or yes. those type of things, those would be, that would be good information that, you know, the, I'm sure afterwards they go, oh, if only, 
Right. Well, this is the this is the solution to the if only we knew. This is it exactly. So looking at as you referenced those opportunities um, for individ any anyone individual who might be in the building at the time as well, in terms of where is your fire extinguisher, where is your first aid kit, your AED, so that in that moment when you're trying to summon help, you don't have to remember where all those things are. The dispatcher and emergency right. responders can tell you uh, where that's at. Uh, reference to uh, your earlier uh, talk point about kind of locations in the building. If you have sensitive materials, hazardous materials, sure. uh, you can demarcate where those are in the building. Again, to let fire personnel in this case know that you might need to respond differently uh, to, to different that section areas. of the building. Right. Um, so it just provides what we call that situational awareness. Uh, everything that's, that could be in that facility as well. And this could be a great uh, training or a topic of discussion. Maybe, if, you know, I think of a business for a safety meeting too. Absolutely. You know, so that, that your staff, your employees know where things are too. And if, if everyone has that information, I guess the response can be a lot swifter and a lot more effective. It, it certainly can. And, and one of the big pieces is exactly that is someone, you know, a facilities manager might know where everything is, but is the facilities manager always going to be the one who's calling 911? Not likely. <laughs> uh, so yes, to uh, kind of that internal sense of uh, educating and sharing information with other staff, but then also that sense of um, you know filling out that profile, sharing with responders too, so that you can have that backup Definitely. and know that somebody knows. So what would a property owner, a business, need to do to um, to fill out a RAVE facility profile? Sure. So uh, if you want additional background on it, you can go to the county website and backslash RAVE facility or simply search RAVE facility in the search engine. But you can also go directly to ravefacility.com. And there you'll need to create a, a profile for your organization, profile or account, uh, username and password. Security is big with the system, right. and certainly a lot of the information that you contribute can be sensitive and needs to be secure. So we want to make sure those security uh, features are part of it. And then you just go about walking through the process. It's really a step-by-step -step process, uh, section by section, to contribute, again, what you want to. Nothing sure. is required, uh, so it's all whatever you want emergency responders to know about. When you're ready to, you can submit your facility profile. Okay. And when you do that, I get a notification. I have an opportunity to review that profile. And oftentimes what I'll do, if I haven't already had the conversation with them, I'll contact the facility or the company and uh, walk them through what I'm seeing, confirm a few details, maybe make some suggestions sure. on how that profile can be improved. And ultimately, uh, after that conversation, I'll click Approve. And then that facility profile is ready to go. Sure. If, if you needed to call 911 later that day, <laughs> our 911 dispatch center and our emergency responders are going to have access to that. So they would have access yes. to that. And so then it was would only be shared upon an emergency then. That's exactly it, yes. Uh, and one of the, the cool features about this program is if you call 911 from uh, a landline uh, first off, is your facility profile will pop up on the dispatcher's screen. Okay. Uh, so again, that, that landline we know is physically connected to that facility. Uh, so that facility profile is going to pop up, and it will only come up if you call 911. Sure. So there again, there's a security feature. Right. Uh, we can And I think that's what people are concerned about as much as an emergency is the security and the safety of the information that they're providing. Absolutely, yes. You know, if they're putting on there where the um, coffee can full of $100 bills is buried, <laughs> right. or, you know, in what closet that's in. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> Probably yeah. not do that, but... <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, just to make sure that, again, from that account standpoint, only they have the ability to log in. Right. Um, and to change things, uh, but then to the knowledge that it can only be seen uh, during the approval process by myself and then by our dispatchers uh, when you call 911. Sure. Uh, big, big feature there. Yeah, and then it's the, the brochure really walks you through simple and easy steps and the benefit. Like you said, it, it could be a fire, it could be flood, it could be, you know, a weather emergency, it could be a medical emergency. Exactly, yes. So if could you know, be someone in your you know, one of your employees. 
Yeah, one of your employees, a visitor, uh, something a could customer. be happening. customer, yeah. Exactly. Um, and so again, um, if you call 911 from that uh, landline, the facility profile is going to pop up. But here's another feature. Uh, we know that landlines are kind of going uh, further and further away. Uh, we see less and less of them as time goes on. If you call from a cell phone, and in the creation of your facility profile, you have demarcated kind of boundaries around sure. your facility. If we have the ability to identify the location of your cell phone call, which technology in that area is getting better and mm -hmm. better. Definitely. Uh, if someone calls from a cell phone on the property or in the area that you marcate around your facility, the facility profile is going to pop up as well. well that's fantastic. From the assumption that you're there you're there that something is happening at that facility prime example is again that medical emergency but also a fire right if you're evacuating probably not spending the time to use the landline <laughs> to call that right, one get out. you're evacuating the building <laughs> so in those cases you might call 911 from the parking lot if you include the parking lot in your facility profile again your facility profile sure. will pop up so Great, a great resource and the other question then the question is is how much does it cost for a business or property owner to get this set up? Yeah, absolutely nothing it's entirely free uh, we've taken care of the cost uh, and so there is no cost it is a free service that we want to offer out to our businesses organizations and again anyone who has a physical location right and a great uh, great tool to a, a little more peace of mind you know we've all yes. been on a little bit of a roller coaster over the last the last few months and um, you know just being prepared for that that next emergency situation that could happen that you know better peace of mind if you've got some preparation and again the team that comes in to handle the emergency whether it's medical or you know emergency responders fire police you name mm -hmm. it um, they've got some better information to, to handle it. Exactly, yes. Well, and on the other side too, now this, we've talked primarily for prop, you know, business, commercial mm -hmm. property owners. Uh, there are some tools that are available for residents overall throughout the county too. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the Smart 911. Yeah, so the, the Smart 911 piece is the companion program, as you referenced, for individuals and households. Uh, offers the ability for you to do primarily two different things uh, when you also create that account again secured account username and password uh, allows you first and foremost to sign up for those emergency alerts uh, that we uh, previously familiar with maybe uh, uh, individuals are familiar with our formerly known as our code red system right and we've moved beyond that system uh, but it still allows uh, rave or excuse me the uh, smart 911 system still allows you to sign up for those emergency alerts weather related but also the local emergency alerts so if sure. our local public safety need to notify people they oftentimes request that we send out a smart 911 notice right um, had one of those uh, here in Fergus Falls a couple weeks ago um, and people who received that were greatly appreciative of the fact that they knew about what was going on and could receive a direct notification true facts versus stuff on the social airwaves. <laughs> right, exactly. Rumor and, and talk and, and that piece. So you get the information directly from uh, the authorities who want that information to go to you. Right. Uh, the nice thing about uh, that alert piece is that, again, if you are in the area that is drawn on a map, mm -hmm. you'll get the notification. If you're not, you won't. Sure. Um, so a big one when it comes to weather is if you are in the National Weather Service Polygon, and you've subscribed to that particular alert, you'll receive it. If you're not in the weather service, you don't need to worry. Right. Because it's it's not for you. Right. Which is which is nice that you receive it if you're in that area versus um, there's a storm in Montana. <laughs> exactly, yes. And, and even Ottertail County being so large. Right. You know, it can be a nice, bright, sunny day up in Pelican Rapids, but maybe we have something happening here in Fergus Falls. Right. So that's one side of the system, is those uh, emergency alerts, which we're familiar with and have had previous systems to help us with there, too. The really big piece, and where it truly becomes that companion to RAVE facility, is you can create a safety profile for okay. yourself and anyone in your household, uh, so anyone who lives at the, the same address. What you can do there is you can contribute information on uh, the individuals. 
And with it, each individual in that profile can include information about physical description, sure. medical conditions, uh, various addresses that they're associated with. So maybe there's a work address, a school address. Where they might be. Exactly. Yep. Great way to get in contact with your, your emergency contacts. Exactly. Though. And similar, uh, if, if an area is drawn on that polygon when we send out a Smart 911 that is your uh, employer, is your school, your profile will be activated. You'll get a notice of something happening at that address, okay. even if you're not physically there yourself. Sure. Uh, so you kind of so you know if something's away. happening. Exactly. You might be on vacation, and uh, severe weather comes in, and it's good to know about that. You know, ask your neighbors to check if, you know, did our house get buried by 18 feet of snow? Right. Exactly. Um, and you know, again, in terms of that uh, physical description component, uh, the big one there is you know missing child. Sure. Um, similar to a ray facility, you're in the heat of the moment. You're panic. Yep. Um, not a lot of time to think about. Yeah, where's the picture? Where's exactly, the... that's the big one. <laughs> you can also upload a picture of yourself, your kids, family members, uh, so that if there is that circumstance, again, our dispatchers and then uh, by extension our emergency responders have that picture right away. Right. That could easily be disseminated with no time lost. Minutes matter. They certainly do. Uh, in addition to, again, just a physical address of any location that you want, you can also include how to find it. Okay. So we all have physical addresses, but right. are they easy to find? That's very common, and, and the, you know, we're familiar with how to, how to get there, but right. maybe the roads don't connect or different things, you know, much like the buildings too. You, there might be buildings that you easy to find your way through it because you've been there for 20 years. Right, absolutely. But not everybody knows. Exactly, yep. And so it's, you can include information, you know, we're, sometimes we joke about, well, you know, it's past Larry's old farm and, <laughs> you know, the, the rock on the left. Yeah. Well, you can include some of that information, those, those physical landmarks right. that can be included to help responders confirm that that is the location that you intended. Um, Again, those medical situations, uh, conditions, allergies, uh, medications you might be allergic to. Again, the profile is there for emergency responders to gain some understanding of the individuals who might be affected and what type of environment they might be coming into. Right. Uh, so knowing and seeing that list of, of allergies, they're going to know what to avoid right. uh, in their treatment. So a lot of information that can be included there. A couple of other pieces of information you can include in that uh, safety profile. Emergency contacts. Who to, who to get in touch with. Right. So let's say emergency responders arrive on scene. There's no one else there. If you have that profile, we can reach out and get you additional help. Let someone know uh, what's happened to you. Right. You can include information about your vehicles. So again, if you need to call 911 from the side of the road, Responders are out looking for a vehicle. They can match a description and a license plate uh, to you and, and know that's you. Uh, information that will really help them respond as well as ease and maybe lower the stress level a little bit, a little bit knowing that you know, you're not panicking and trying to find information and you know, you're, you're looking for stuff and you can't find it. Exactly. Because your brain is a little frazzled. Right. <laughs> uh, one of the other nice things that, that you can include is information on animals. Uh, animals including uh, agricultural but also companion animals, uh, service animals, Okay. Uh, yeah. all of that information can be included as well. Again from the standpoint of awareness for responders um, but then especially in those cases of those service animals again knowing that they need to account for that animal because right. it's there to serve and help as well and not to dismiss it. Lots of great information and tools here Again, smart, the SMART 911, they can find that. Links on the county website, right. as well as go to smart911.com and set up your profile. Exactly. Uh, now is the time to get prepared. I know a lot of folks are getting prepared for the winter months, whether it's uh, snow tires on the cars or, you know, draining hoses and, you know, getting, getting things ready for the next season. Mm -hmm. This is another key, key play it's, for it's folks to do. It's another big step, yes, absolutely. And, you know, although we, we're encouraging people to go online and, and fill out these profiles themselves, 
always know that if there's any questions, any assistance necessary, you can always call Ottertail County Emergency Management, and we'd be more than happy to help you walk through that process. Right. And your direct line, Patrick, they don't call 911 to get in touch with you. No, please don't do that. <laughs> That's emergency only. But, right. but if they want to have, you know, again, find out a little bit more about the security and the process and, you know, to make it easier. Because, boy, when we go to fill out a form, it's like, Oh, I don't know about that kind of stuff. What's the exactly. best way to get in touch with you? Yeah. So my direct line is 218-998-8067. Ironically, uh, when it comes to those weather alerts through Smart 911, that's also the number that's going to show up on your phone. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's good to, pe to have that in your phone so that you uh, can get that information. And exactly. again, uh, helping provide calm amongst the storm, helping mm -hmm. us be prepared. Uh, Patrick, over the last, well, as long as you've been with the county, you've helped provide that, that calmness in the chaos. So appreciate the services that you've provided to all of us in Ottertail County. Oh, absolutely. We want to do whatever we can to help people prepare and, in the thick of it, respond as well as recover. So I'm always happy to, to do what we can. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Thank you. You bet. We'll be back after a little break. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Find It in Fergus Falls today. I hope you've got some great, uh, got some great information from Patrick Woletsko from Ottertail County and help you get prepared in case of emergency. Of course, if you want to find out details about many of the programs, our many members, including Ottertail County, calendar of events, or even job postings, check out the Chamber's website at fergusfalls.com. I'm Lisa Workman. This has been Find It in Fergus Falls, and we'll see you again next week.